Hey everybody, welcome to my channel. I have Unagella and they contacted me. They did send this to me as PR uh, asking me if I want to review their liner gel. And um, if you don't remember, Unagella, I did them, I did a video for them earlier this summer with a kind of gel X dupe and with the little lamp and tips that I hated, which that was my fault for not picking the shape and size that I wanted. And um, the nail glue that is gel that's curable. Oh, 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 I turned it on too late. Um, I use this almost every day, this little lamp. Um, I use it to cure it, um, to cure tips on clients. Um, I do use the Gelex system, but a friend of mine that is a nail tech, uh, she wanted me to do her nails. She'd never heard of the system and she wanted to learn how to do it. I taught her how to do it um, using Gelex, not the Unigella, but I let her take the Unigella. I really liked it and that's not the point. Um, do I find it comparable? Yes, to Gelex, but... I have bought so much of the <laughs> Gelex system and their uh, glue and uh, the Apri system. That that's what I use on clients. Okay, um, it's not that I don't like this and I wouldn't use it on clients. I absolutely would. That's uh, just that I've got that system and all the tips and boxes and boxes and boxes. That's what I use on clients. Would I recommend this? Absolutely. I think it's an awesome product. So, they wanted me to do their gel liner, and I did a video already. And <laughs> my video file was corrupt. When I went to edit it, it's like video not found, video not found. Then it finally got to where video corrupt. Serenity now. Serenity now. All right, so I painted a couple of tips, and I think these are gorgeous colors. I love these colors. Um, it is Madame Glam. I don't have a lot of Unigella. I only have these liners, and I have Purple Hero and Glam DC, and I think these are gorgeous colors, and I think they would look amazing with this gel liner. I love this little lamp. I use it every day. Because when I'm filming, I use it for tips for these, like so I can just stick it in there and cure it. I don't have to go to my big lamp because I'm just doing these little stands and <laughs> curing. Paint your tip, however, whatever color you want. Wipe it off. These do have sticky inhibition layers on them, which is just uncured gel. It just like cures it, and as it cures it, that stuff rises to the top. And we're going to wipe that off so it's no longer sticky. And if you see some of the color on your pad, no problem, no big deal. Um, so I did a YouTube short. No, I think maybe, did I post on YouTube short? I don't know. An Instagram reel, a YouTube short. It's all different sizes and it really makes me mad. And social meds. Get your crap together and everybody film in the same ratio. YouTube shorts is not the same as Instagram reels and YouTube regular. <laughs> it's all different ratio of filming and it really annoys me. But because when you film something, you can't just post it everywhere. Uh, you have to, to film it several times in different sizes to post nobody cares about that guy all right so i think on this purple um purple hero i'm going to do the silver this stuff i'm also going to do it um on just a plain tip a clear tip so we can see how um opaque it is um, so it is a little thick. Oh my gosh, look how gorgeous that is, would you? 
I mean, it's not wanting to focus because of the sparkle. It is just so beautiful. And I'm glad that finally it is showing how gorgeous that is. Sometimes I just take a pen and or a marker and kind of like sketch out the detail that I want to do because I can't always do it at what I'm what I'm feeling <laughs> what I'm thinking um, without a little line so I'm gonna do a little bit of a swirly And I'm thinking, I think I'm going to color that all in so that if you go slow enough on your pass, you can absolutely make it all the way through. Um, I think I don't want it quite as extreme there. And I want to color this in. Because this silver is so gorgeous. I was just going to do a line. And then I decided that I just wanted to do half of it. But I still want to do... This is still a thing, I guess. Um, as a swatcher, <laughs> I feel like... When I see something on Instagram or whatever, what whatever the trend is, the um, in thing, I see it a few times and it's like, okay, okay. Um, after a few days, I'm like, all right, I'm over that. Please stop. <laughs> Don't do that anymore. Love this color. All right, I'm going to put it in my little Unigella lamp to cure. And I wasn't sure when I first did this whether or not this was uh, a no wipe. I mean, can we please just take a minute to appreciate how gorgeous this is. This is a liner I am going to paint solid. Um, you want to make sure it's kind of thin so it cures all the way because a lot of times this stuff is so opaque and this is I put it on a clear tip so that you could see how opaque it was but if you don't get it thin enough <laughs> here I am using the liner brush you could absolutely just use a put it on a, a mat like this and then use a uh, a regular gel brush and I'm gonna let it settle just a minute before curing it but it is totally opaque and oh my gosh it is so gorgeous they told me they were sending me some no wipe top coat but I never got it in base coat um, I never got it so I'm just using what I have um, a no wipe top coat is a no wipe top coat. I really like this one. This is Madame Glam, but I'm sure that theirs is comparable. Oh, that's so cute. All right, so you can use, either use a no wipe top coat or wipe it off with alcohol. It is extremely thick, so you absolutely need to, to wipe it off on a palette to get any fine lines whatsoever. Um, I think I want to just outline this one. Um, I kind of, <laughs> I mean the brush is okay. It is. A 
Oh, that's so pretty. So when you're lining something, if you just kind of lay the brush against the edge and not so much pull it, pull it a little bit, but so let's just do a little leaf kind of going down. It's just so sparkly that I feel like it's not going to be a very distinct look, but it is very pretty. All right, let's cure that. Um, I almost forgot on my nails. This is uh, in pre preparation for some, um, I don't know, gory maybe. This is <laughs> Faces Load Lacquer, Small Batch 23. Uh, I don't know if it's still available, but it's a really pretty pink, gold, beautiful, sparkly. I love it. Okay, there is the gold solid solid gold dancer with uh, a no wipe top coat over it just beautiful and there it is uh with some freehand leaves leaves are super easy to do i decided to go up a little higher with that and i think um i made a good choice it's very pretty um i think i think it came in black and white was a choice or uh the gold and silver together was a choice and, you know, of course, I'm going to go with sparkly every time. Um, go check out the link down below if you want to look at what they've got. And I do think that they're awesome. Um, these are 8 mil bottles. They do have some instructions and ingredients. And... Um, unfortunately, HEMA is an ingredient that I'm allergic to that I can't use on myself. So, but I can use it on other people. And absolutely appreciate them sending these. And they're very responsive if you have any questions. All right. Thanks so much for joining me. Stay tuned for a little fun video here at the end. Bye. T-Rex tail. No. Nope. No? Who has the mightiest tail? T-Rex is the answer to every question. No, that's Allosaurus. Allosaurus? But that's T-Rex. Yeah. But he's got a mighty one. Okay. What's the next question? Let's go here. Okay. Who is it? I can't talk about this one. You can't talk about it? Which goes different? Okay. okay. Oh, man. This one's wrong. Oh. Man. Oh, it's so, a puzzle? Uh-oh, I got it wrong way, but go. Okay, so Lucas drew an endoraptor for me to make into a pancake. And I think I nailed it. That's an endoraptor, just like your picture. Let me show you. All right, draw another one, but I don't, I'm not making no more pancakes. Boogie boogie boo. Boogie boogie boo. Boogie boogie boo. Boogie boogie boo.